This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. That's right, Doc. The flux capacitor. We got it here. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning back into DeLorean Corner. Uh, this video, we're going to be discussing three different flux capacitors that you can purchase out there. Uh, the first one is going to be this. Uh, we got this one off of eBay. There's a, a guy by the name of Cherokee Jared. Uh, that's his eBay seller name. He makes these and sells these. Um, we're also going to review Diamond Selects flux capacitor and also a flux capacitor that DeLorean Motor Company is selling on their website. Uh, we will compare all three of these uh, to the actual movie used uh, flux capacitor out of the A car. So this will be an ultimate virus guide. Okay, so let's get this one out of the car and we'll get started. Okay, uh, we got the flux capacitor out of the car up here with us. And behind me is a screenshot from the restoration of the A car, the, the main movie car. Uh, you could see that it is a dark gray case like this one. And that's kind of going to be one of the big differences you're going to see with a lot of these flux capacitor uh, replicas. Some of them aren't going to be a dark gray. They're going to be a light, a light gray. Uh, Diamond Select is one of those. That is a light gray color. Um, the one from DeLorean Motor Company is also a light gray color. And even on their website, they say that that's not the correct color. Um, the issue being that the original case here, it's not painted. That's just, that's the plastic or the fiberglass that they used to make that was that gray color. Uh, so this one is actually the same style case that the DeLorean Motor Company is currently selling. Um, but this one has been painted the dark gray to get closer to the movie. Uh, this one here is not from DeLorean Motor Company. This is uh, from the eBay seller Cherokee Jared. Um, I also wanted to uh, point out there's this book that's out there, DeLorean Time Machine uh, Owner's Workshop Manual. And this was written by Bob Gale and also Joe Walser. And uh, Joe Walser led the team that is in this documentary that restored the car. And you can see even there, it's a dark gray case. Um, don't want to harp on it too much, but that's one of the big differences that you're going to see on these flux capacitor replicas. Uh, even in this book, uh, they do give out some more details about what this case, uh, the, like the dimensions here, 11 by 13 by 5 inches. And that's what this is. Uh, you're also going to find Diamond Select is the same size, and the one from DeLorean Motor Company is the same size as well. Those are all one-to-one -one scale replicas. You can see here there's this large rubber gasket that goes around uh, for, the, uh, for the viewing window. And this also has the large rubber gasket. The Diamond Select is going to be a very thin rubber gasket. This one here, along with the upper elbow, comes with a side elbow. And you can see there is a side elbow on the original car. And when you look at pictures in the movie, you're going to see a bunch of elbows up here. So flex capacitor replicas are going to vary. Uh, most of them are only just going to have this upper elbow. See the yellow spark plug wires with the orange caps. That's the same on this. Uh, the brass Tor laboratory relays. Uh, this replica does a really good job of recreating those out of brass. This replica also has a glass window as opposed to plastic like most replicas. Not powered by batteries. Uh, it has a 12 volt DC in connection and it does come with a car adapter and as well as one to plug into a 110 outlet at your home. On the side, it does have an on-off switch. And those are all the switches that you're going to see on this flux capacitor replica. All the functionality comes out of the remote here. I'll turn it on and you can see what it does. It's going to play the Back to the Future theme. 
is what makes time travel possible. A flux capacitor. And it's got a volume control. So we'll turn that down. Here's the time travel sequence. The Diamond Select, as well as the DeLorean Motor Company replicas, don't do that. They just have the flashing lights. Um, Diamond Select does not have any sound effects, and the DeLorean Motor Company one does have uh, the fluxing sound effect, which I think is this one. Yeah. And like I said, you could adjust the volume. You could also adjust speed. You can speed it up. In the movie, it is a pretty fast um, fluxing speed. Looks a little more like this one. And there are a lot of other presets and functionality built into this. I think that plays the whole song. Okay, and that was it. This version has six LEDs per strip. And this is another image from the Out of Time documentary, the restoration of the the A car from the movie. And you can see on their flux capacitor board here, six LEDs per strip. So just another reason why this one is just that much more accurate to the movie car than the Diamond Select or the DeLorean Motor Company versions. Each one of those has three LEDs per strip. And when you have six LEDs per strip, you get more of a fluid motion like you see here. You're going to notice on the Diamond Select and also the DeLorean Motor Company versions, it's almost kind of a strobing effect with their light sequencing. I should also mention that I did make a modification to the LED lights. Originally, the lights in this unit were spaced out uh, pretty far apart, in my opinion. You could see each individual bulb. Um, in the movie, when this is fluxing, you really don't see the individual bulbs. You just see the motion of this kind of flickering towards the towards the center from the outside, and it's just kind of fluxing. Um, so what I did, I I took this apart, and I took the LEDs, and I grouped them closer together, closer together and towards the end uh, uh, of the fluxing bands that were closest to the relays, so away from the center. Um, so in this in this one, it's um, I'll show you a video of before I modified it. I did take one video before I modified it, uh, so I'll, I'll show that here now. And in that video, you can see each individual bulb. Um, to me, it kind of looks like Christmas lights. Uh, but if you look at the movie and uh, at the very beginning of this uh, clip, and I'll, I'll even add it here too. Um, you'll see it's more of a flow. It's more flowing. It's um, uh, You don't notice the individual bulbs. And another modification I did is I hollowed out the inside of the uh, clear blades. I hollowed out the inside of them so that the LED wasn't pressed right up against it. So it gave it some space before the light hit the LED blade, or before the LED lights hit the blade to diffuse the light a little bit better so you don't notice the individual bulbs. Okay, let's take a look at the inside 
I'll open up the door and we can get a better view of the components. Just a closer look at the images in the book here. Uh, you can see the additional elbows. So if you wanted to get 100% movie accurate, you would also need to add those. Um, the elbow that I have on the side is a totally different looking elbow than the one from the actual car. In my opinion, these are very minor. Like I said, most replicas don't even come with a side elbow. These latches do look like the same latches. I'll, I'll just close one up and show you the comparison if you can. Okay, notice it has the loop here to do a lockout. And you can see the the one from the movie has the has the same feature on it. Just wanted to point that out. All right, here's the inside. So these are real spark plug wires. Now these. Um, these are painted, and when I started messing around in here, the paint was starting to flake off. Uh, so I did I did apply some more paint to them. Um, it's not something that you would notice looking at it, but just something I wanted to point out. And you can see the detail in the brass relays. They're, they're real brass, so that's really cool. They're not. It's not a casting, which you'll see in the DeLorean Motor Company version. These are actually metal brass components to replicate the relays. Uh, this person also added wiring. They also added the wire that goes around here. And you can see the, the wires on there as well. The additional LEDs when it's doing its flashing. Yeah, just an overall really nice replica. You can see the original color of the case in here, that light gray. And that's the on the version that you'll see from DeLorean Motor Company. That's just how they left it. I do also want to point out in this in this actual flux capacitor from the movie. There's these orange grommets. Um, you can't see the other two, but they all three of them have these orange grommets. And this version, this replica, does not have those. Um, if you look at the first scene in the movie, it doesn't have them either. But if you look at other scenes in the movie, they do appear. Um, I think that was just a difference from the multiple DeLoreans that they used. I think that um, the first scene that you see of uh, the flux capacitor towards the very beginning of the first movie in the J.C. Penney parking lot, um, it it doesn't it doesn't have those orange grommets, but in other scenes in the movie you do see those. Um, so I think it was the C car uh, that you first saw the interior shots of because they did the A car had everything in it and the C car was kind of a cut up version that they used for a lot of the interior shots. Um, I think that's, that's where that showed up, the no grommet version. Um, however, they're restoring the A car. So yeah, maybe it was the A car that had the grommets in it. So it's one of those things. Um, every car that they produced had their little differences to them. Um, they're restoring the A car, the A car, had those, um, but the first the first scene of the flux capacitor that you see in the movie does not. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the Diamond Select uh, replica, and then also the DeLorean Motor Company replica. They also produce one, and they sell one on their website. So um, I will show you those. I actually I recorded footage of those earlier. I don't have them with me, otherwise I'd have them all lined up here. Um, the Diamond Select, I do still have it, uh, just not at this location. And the DeLorean Motor Company one, I sent it back, and 
it was because one of the flux bands um, it it was off. It wasn't matching the the flashing effect as the other two. Uh, they gave me a refund. They're really really good to work with. Um, so I recorded footage of those previous uh, to this. So I'm going to go ahead and just do voiceover uh, comparing those two versions. Okay, here is the Diamond Select. Some of the key features, it has a metal case. Uh, there are three LEDs per strip. Some of, some of the Diamond Select versions of this do have a center flashing light. It has adjustable speeds, and it's also battery operated. The Pro is it's the cheapest of the three, and there are no cast resin parts. And when we take a look at the DeLorean Motor Company version, we will see what cast resin parts can look like. Some of the cons, the case is the wrong color. We discussed it needs to be a darker gray. There are only three LEDs per strip, and so that, pre that presents itself like a strobing effect. The LEDs are the wrong color. They need to be a warm, warm color. The LEDs are chasing backwards. They're going from the inside out. They need to go from the outside in. The controls are behind a door, so to turn it on and off, you have to open that door. The gasket is way too thin. There are no sound effects with the Diamond Select. There are, these are no longer in production, and it does not time travel. Uh, my fix is I rewired the LED sequence to chase inward instead of outward. And I also added electrical tape to the sides of the clear blades. And you can see that in the video here. Okay, this is the DeLorean Motor Company version. Some of the key features, it has a fiberglass case. There are three LEDs per strip. It has an adjustable speed to it, which I'm demonstrating here. It is battery operated by a nine volt battery pack on the top, and it does have a sound effect. Some of the pros, it is the correct style case. The correct LED sequencing is chasing inward. It has the correct color LEDs that are warm light. Additional LEDs are in the case to light it up. It has the correct wider gasket. It does have one flexing sound effect and the controls are accessible from the outside. Some of the cons, the case is the wrong color. It needs to be that dark gray again. Only three LEDs per strip, so you get a strobing look to it. All cast resin parts on the inside, and we'll see that in a second. And it only has one sound effect. Um, I will demonstrate that here in a moment. And uh, again, it does not time travel. None of these time travels. Uh, I guess that's in the fine print. My fix is for this, I didn't do anything to it because I did send it back. Um, you're going to hear the fluxing sound here. So that top left band is the one that was giving me problems. You can see that there. Okay, here's a side-by-side. -side. Here's the inside of the Diamond Select version. The relays, you can tell they're, they're metal. Uh, they're a cadmium plated steel, so they're not brass. The tubes here are fairly clear. The blades, um, they do have a cloudy look to them, and that's accurate to the movie. And you can see the spark plug wires are, they look pretty good. And also they have those grommets, those orange grommets. And here we go with the DeLorean Motor Company version. And right away, you can see the bubbles in there. These are the cast resin parts. So even the Tor relays, um, they're not metal relays. Those are painted resin parts. And the caps on the spark plug wires, we're going to get another view of it here. Yeah, you can see the spiraling band of the wire. Those aren't spark plug wires. And it's just so porous, uh, the castings. So that's a big difference there. So that's those two side by side. And here, here are what you can expect for pricing. The Diamond Select is all over the place, but it's still going to be your cheapest option. DeLorean Motor Company charges $895.88 on their website. 
And the version that I've kept is the Cherokee Jared uh, eBay seller, 849 on his uh, eBay seller page. And I would say the hands down winner here is the Cherokee Jared flux capacitor. Um, even though this video has my modifications to the LEDs, even with his original LED setup, I still think it looks very, very good. And you get so much functionality out of it. You get that remote control that you can adjust speed and sound and you have the different uh, sequences for time travel. Now in, th in this lighting, it's kind of a bright gray, but you can see here, this is just another video of the same case. It's a dark gray, so it does closely match. And I've just been very happy with this. Okay, I want to thank you for tuning in. It was kind of a longer video, but I wanted to go over all the details um, so you guys would have an informed decision when you go to purchasing a flux capacitor if you're in the market for one. Uh, that's going to wrap up this video. Stay tuned. I'll have some more content coming out. And maybe this might make the next video. We'll see. All right, take care.